Of course, if you are decent in your micro. Yeah, of course. So uh, the next game is Radley versus Cryoc. Get some stamina. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to have a drink before this game. Going to do this. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this. And of course, it's great because you'll be able to tell us what you were thinking as you played. Um, I can't. I can't watch this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was pretty nice TVT. Okay, that's good. Um, but also static in some some of moments, but maybe not so much. Okay. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. I will see, eh? Okay, uh, I was gonna say something. Uh, what was I gonna say? <sighs> I was going to say something important, but I can't remember what it was, so I think we'll just get straight into the game. Are you ready? Right, counting okay. down. One, two, three, go. Four. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, you have beep beep? <laughs> yeah, you don't have the beep beep? And then this, I'm starting gaining CD fire, I don't have this. Ah, I see. Okay, I'm at uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Tell me one twenty. And 20. Right, we are synchronized. So, welcome everyone on the second match of uh, tonight's stream. This is Raleigh against Cryog, this is a pretty nice TV team match. Yeah. And the map is Resonance 2, and I'm Birdie, so it's not just Radley, but Radley is playing, and here's the green Tran, and I have to set up the overlay. Where is the overlay? It's uh, orange is 11 o'clock, and Radley is at the 5 o'clock. There we go. Oh, and it says 1 mil, which is incorrect. It is 0, zero. There we go. Okay, so it's uh, Resonance 2, which I'll just show you the map if you guys want to see. It's a two-player map and it's fairly large and it's got a whole lot of expansions, which is very nice. And uh, of course there's quite a few... Uh, there's about three different ways really that you can uh, choke off this map. And in TVT of course having those big long tank lines is very important, but if there's only one player to get across, the Tyrant only has to control one area of the map and he's basically got a very strong position. But because there's uh, three three or yeah, three ways to that you can get across the map, um, the the Tyrant has to the defending Tyrant or whoever's got the stronger tank line is uh, has got a wider range of area to cover, so the harassment is more strong. Wow, well, this was pretty nice describe the description of this. But I can add only that uh, when you are playing TVT on this map, uh, there is in fact only the one way to the area. You know. Really? Because when you're going to camp this map, there's no way to go on ground. Yeah. I'm going to use the top tips. But, oh, maybe I won't tell what, what was in this game, but. Yeah, I'm just thinking there's this, for example, I'm showing it on the stream, but there's uh, this area over the right here which you can send vultures around for harassment. Yeah. Whereas if you were holding just the middle of the map, you wouldn't be able to defend that properly. So it would depend where you put your tank lines, I suppose. But you are the TVT master, not me, so I'll be... Maybe I'm not the master, but... <laughs> You're more masterful uh, than me, for yeah. sure. <laughs> only only the, ex the, the two expansions on the middle of the map are, are exposed. And the other um, are pretty pretty easy defended uh, when you are Terra. Okay. You can just put some tanks in narrow chokes from to this extension and you are safe. You just have to worry about dropships. Yes. So with this uh, barracks here, are you just using that to deny scouting, or...? Uh, this barracks? Yeah. Yeah, because on this map, uh, this, this is uh, really important that when you are putting barracks over there, uh, then you are safe and against beings. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. 
pretty nice for 3D. But uh, what is the most important that uh, on this map you can make uh, several cheese plays. Uh, especially in TVT you can use 8 barracks pretty easily here because there are no ramps uh, to the main. So uh, when you are putting these barracks over there then you can buy some time to basic bunker or something like that to defend against 8 barracks. I see. So, yeah. Pretty safe, and it's also denying scouting from your opponent. So yeah. Okay, so both players have an armory. Is this standard to get the armory this quickly in a TBT like this? Because you're both going uh, for very you similar. Are going through factories, and you don't make uh, vultures. Ah, I see. Uh, this, is, this is pretty pretty common below there. Uh, yeah, because I mean you're both doing basically the same thing. There is, but there is slight difference because uh, Craig is playing one to one. I mean, he's he has one factory with machine shop, ah, I see. and he's producing one tank and one Goliath simultaneously. And my build order is something different because I have two machine shops, and I am building at the same time two Goliaths, and it fits really well well when you are on only one base in gas. Uh, you can check this on my on my accounts of my ma minerals and gas. That's it's pretty cool, because yeah, I can see that as you I have, have very. I have two tanks finishing, and just in this moment I had 142 glass. Out 50. I can make for that. And nice little macro there from you. Very good to see. Yeah, because action. he had two tanks, but you were still able to push him back. And and uh, was is the most important? I saved my tanks. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. So now I'm slide forward, especially with army size. And you can add this that I can produce more tanks because of these two machine shops. Yeah. And you already have siege mode as well, which is. But I think he does as well, but he's not sieging up just yet. And so yeah. He did say that there are three ways, and I can say that, oh, now Craig is using one glad and hardly one safe. Uh, but what did you say about these three ways? Uh, in this stadium of game, uh, in early or middle game, you can use this when you are in TVT and yeah. just to surprise your opponent. Uh, so it's everything is depending on your scouting and your opponent's scouting. Yeah, uh, and he did see you with that barracks, so he's pushing forward here, but he's got the going. siege mode up slightly faster, taking down one of your tanks, but you take down one of his. And it looks like you have the Goliath yeah, numbers to be able to push forward here. And you're going to be able to take down all of his tanks. Alright. I don't know what is the time of your game. Uh, 7.09, 7.10, 11, 12, 13. Three, three, three seconds forward, okay, so, so nice. Okay, you, wa you, wa you want me to pause for one second? No, 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 no need to. Okay. Okay, so now Craig is losing his barracks, so he will lose his eyes. Now he is playing blind. And he, does yeah. have, he does have a factory on the way though, whereas you don't yet build one. You've got an uh, academy there. He's already completed his academy. So it seems like he's got a weaker army size but his uh, production facilities are slightly higher. But you've already taken your gas though whereas he has not yet taken his gas. And still he has only one machine shop so yeah. in fact the most important are tanks. And now I can very easily produce them uh, all the time from these both factories. Yeah. yeah. And you also have a strong supply lead as well, just about 20 supply lead, which is quite a lot at the stage of the game. Yeah, thanks to first two um, fights. Yeah. Which both I won. But now Craig is going to uh, stay cool on the front of his natural. And uh, now what he don't want to lose is... Uh, this position because if I can get slightly forward, take down these two now three tanks and just close him uh, on his choke, then there is no way out for him. And for now, 
it still have, has three ways, which only one is blocked on the middle. Yeah, My but tanks? of course you do have a bunch of tanks at your main base though, so you would be able to defend from harassment. Yeah. And I should have... Yeah, I'm just flying with my barracks again. So I will see everything. Yeah. If it's going to move out in some different direction or not. TBT is really scouting base. Yeah. You cannot get surprised by your opponent. Because only one is mistake and you can lose whole game. Yeah. And you do have these tanks coming across here to the right side of the map. Is that just to hold that high ground? Or? I'm, ju I'm just scouting uh, the third expansion. Okay. And then uh, I think I'm going to to close him from second side, from the right. Yeah, yeah. So he only has and one maybe, way out. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm going to attack him. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe, yeah. But he's coming forward here with his vultures and he's going to push forward. Or maybe he did. Yeah, he's maybe attacking. He, yeah. Oh, and he's sieged up. He's got a lot of tanks there. Uh, taking oh, down one of your tanks. Was, uh, oh, tank one of your tanks going down. Oh, and you're coming oh. in from the top right though. And you do have more tanks still alive. This is close. Yes, and All you do right, take uh, it down no, because you had that second right. force which he didn't realize. And I'm your second nice force is going to get inside his base though. Pretty nice thing from Raleigh. Yeah, right. definitely. Now, brother is moving forward. Yeah, you should win this now if you pull this off properly. But there are two more tanks over here, and my tanks are pretty Oh, and the SUVs are coming in and killing off your tanks. Damaged. SUV is very strong, man. Yeah. Yeah, against tanks? <laughs> yeah. No, no, seriously. Seriously. Yeah, definitely, because they can get inside the range, and then they've got. Um, it's all because, because your own tanks. Oh, pretty bad, man. I lost Yeah. So that you do have a lot more tanks coming in then, and he's only producing tanks off two factories, as are you, but you have five factories and he's on only four. Yeah, but my machine shop count is the same, so. Yeah. We'll have the same amount of tanks. So your Especially barracks is a little bit behind, so you can't scout up to them. Yeah, but I have scans. Still. Yeah. I have to scan uh, every 10 seconds to have vision. That was strange. Why did he land his command center there? I think he wanted to make move from his main, but then he realized that I came with, I think, two ad additional tanks. Ah, okay. It was, of course, too much for him. He would lose it. And you but are taking. Yeah, not taking another base. Tank, but also lost one. And what is the most important? He's making a standard big order with vultures. So vultures are pretty nice uh, when you are going to move out against content. Yeah, and they're because coming they're here forward here. They're, some of them going down already, but they're getting close up in the tanks, throwing down mines, and the vultures look like they will be able to take down all of this tank land around yeah. here. Oh, oh, nice mine there, though. Oh, and he does take down the oh, expansion. Oh. But I think he did lose quite a lot of vultures there compared to what he could have, so he's down to only four vultures left with two more on the way. And he's only on two bases, and you're just about, you're on three bases now, so you've got a very strong economic lead. Yeah, but uh, I did realize in this game, uh, after a few minutes, that that uh, this expansion is pretty poor <laughs> because you have only 1000 minor fields and only 2000 days or even 1050? I don't know. Oh, oh this expansion here, oh, that's interesting. So it's. Okay, we have ne next fight. Now I'm just trying to. Push in. But he does have quite a few tanks he does. Take my place, it's going to take. But it didn't work. So. And he's sending his vultures here for some harassment on your top right base. And he does scout it. And uh, he scouted my expansion. My yeah, but it's only one hit points and the vulture goes down to the SCVs. Oh, oh kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah. I think you must be behind uh, a little bit. I'll pause for a couple seconds. Pause.
equals two, three. Okay. And he's pushing forward here with all those tanks here. Which, uh, he's, does lose some of them already, but he's got two more tanks here for you. And you're coming across with the vultures there. The vultures coming in against the siege tanks and putting down mines. And the mines go down, and one of the tanks go down, but the vultures go down as well. And you've lost your contain on them. And of course, once he got his vultures out, it was very good for him because he was able to put down those mines and scout your expansions. Uh, he's trying to do some harassment here, but that's not going to work at the time. At this time. And he does have a starport on the way as well as two command centers, so he's going to be trying to double expand as he's managed to break your contain. But uh, your voice is very quiet. Your voice is very quiet. I can't hear you. Very quiet. Yeah, it was very noisy before, but now it's too quiet. And now? Yeah, now that's better. Hello. Yeah, that's better. All right. So, um, Cryx uh, stabilized this game. He managed to take third expansion. He's now building this. And he has like four tanks over there. So, he secured this area. And now he's trying to make some hard work. work. And so his mines, of course, are going to scout all your vultures here. So he knows exactly what's happening. And he's got a Wraith coming over here. But the missile turret is just about complete. Yeah. So you're going to defend Dance that timing. just in time. Dance yeah. Timing. Very nice That's timing from Radley. Radley here has got his hacks timing. He's just yeah. about like playing his I flash, isn't he? I had sneaky map hack. Yeah, that's what I thought. I could do this all time. I just see the counter on the top of my screen. Uh, 50 seconds to ride. Play his motherfucking turret. <laughs> and he's shooting your barracks though with his wraith though, so you are going to lose your barracks. Oh and you're pushing God. in here with a lot of vultures here, and there's tanks sieging up. Uh, a lot of you're killing off all his tanks though, but he's got his own vultures. But you do have the numbers there. Oh, his vultures, oh, more oh, vultures that coming nice across there. Though, yeah, beautiful spread. You killed all his vultures there. Very nice. And yeah, I managed to take two additional tanks from Pryo, and now I'm going to attack his town center. Very nice, but he does uh, have two tanks here, and they are able to hit one of your tanks. Oh, That's going down. Yeah. And you have oh, a dropship here with two tanks inside it. What are you going to do with those? Sleep. Okay. I'm going to sleep. Okay, that's a good idea because tanks are expensive, and if you drop them, they cost yeah. lots of money. Okay, now now I'm making something with the dropship, and I'm going back. Uh, I I don't remember. Really well. And you have a right second. Now. Second drop. It's a bit. Only one tank left and two in dropship. And, and you dropped it. Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah. And you've taken. It looks like you're going to be able to deny He's coming across with the SCV, though. And SCVs, of course. Oh, again, taking again, down one of your tanks going down to the SCVs. SCVs. And the other tank oh. going down as well. Very efficient SCVs right there. Oh, man. SCVs overpowered, man. It's 60 hit points. SCVs are in balance. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we have next drop shield with two tanks. And again, Queen Ah, but the SCVs coming across again, and they. Oh, just oh, about taking it's down. Micro, it's micro, yeah, service. this micro on the TVT oh. before. Oh man, that's nice. And this thing is going to be rescued and repaired, I think. Yeah. Very kind to take it's care of the rescue. I mean, back like home that. after a very good mission. And you have one, two, three start ports on the way. So it looks like you're going to yeah. go for uh, Valkyries, huh? Val ah, Valkyries, yeah. <laughs> Valkyries, man, he's got yeah. one wraith. You need uh, it would be Battle Cruiser Operation. <laughs> yeah, it should be Battle Cruiser Operation. <laughs> and, we will see. This is a really fast transition. But uh, as we can see, I have. Um, yeah. 
I'm 12 on in this game, so I can I can go with this and make this fast transition into better Kuvia. Yep. Just to end this up. And he but does have one, two, we'll three, four, five. He only has five factories, so you do have a factory count on him as well. So you can outproduce them both with battle cruisers and with the uh, factory units as well. So you're gonna have four starports pumping out the uh, pumping out the battle cruisers. Looks like you're trying to do a bit of a push here, but he does have a lot of tanks set up there, so it's not gonna be too easy. I mean, though, I would try to break this. And you're pushing in here tank. with lots of the tanks coming in here and the two dropships coming in, but you're seeding up. He's got a lot of tanks there though, and he is going uh, to be. Uh, uh, but your tanks are dropped there, and do take down a lot of them. But I think he does have a slight advantage. Here. And your one SUV. No oh, you do take down two tanks there though. Very nice. Oh again, dropship, dropship. And your four oh. starports not producing battle cruisers. Oh dear. Ah. One battle cruiser operational. Yeah, battle cruiser operational. Oh, oh no, I remember. You will see this. This battle cruiser is pretty cool because it's uh, the commander of this uh, this grab of units, which ah, are see. going on the top top expansion, and they will stay there for some minutes, and this battle cruiser will be leading them like a boss. Very good. First one on the map. One, two, three, four battle cruises. And again, I had map hack because, as we saw, Cryok just wanted to put this command center down over here, and I came from the shadows with my units. Except so, uh, so you had mines there already, the mines would not let. Could you land with this? Yeah. Still. Field. And nice you're seated up on the high ground as well, so you do have a high ground advantage here, which is very strong. And I, I just want to close down this expansion, just to prevent him to expand there. Because what he needs is to take more expansions now. Yeah. Still behind the economy, especially in gas. Yeah, and that's why you're able to afford all your battle cruisers. I have five, five refineries now. Yep. Of course, uh, two of them are defeated, but still it's free. In this situation, is it possible that you would try and take that base that you were um, denying from him? And we do have uh, vultures coming across here from Radley to try and defend, but Cryok is pushing forward with his tanks, but a lot of tanks going down here, and you do have a very nice siege line there, so I think you will be able to prevent uh, any damage that, being done here. That happens, man. I was so and uh, she told about that I can take their expansion, of course I can, but still I have my own expansion uh, on the bottom. And so, there are no units in Kayak, and there is no chance he can go with his units because he still has to uh, keep pressure on the middle of me. So I, I can take this also, but. Not necessary. For now, I'm fine, I'm fine, I have much money. Yeah, I have not money. and you are suppliers forty ahead, which is very good. Yeah, very big lead. And, and of course, you have battle, battle cruisers. Cruise. One, two, three, four. Lots of battle cruisers. Five battle cruisers. Uh, now, Craig is going to place its expansion on the bottom left corner. And he's coming in for some harassment over on the right here with his tanks. And Pushing forward and he is seizing that. position from him, for him. Yeah, definitely. There are no units him, but there are four battle cruisers. Oh, and the battle cruisers are coming across and that one Goliath is instantly dying. So, so the battle cruisers yeah. are going to be able to kill all of these tanks. Yeah. And then very nice play uh, here from Radley. Radley with his map hacks. With my FP vault. You can you hear me? Hey, eh? FP vault. When I often stream, uh, I cannot hear you. Yeah, when you when you stream. Same interruption. Yeah, when I'm I'm streaming my games with FP uh, fifth person view. 
Yep. Then I'm playing TPT and I'm going to make Battle Cruiser and I have one group of Battle Cruisers and I'm finding uh, two groups of pure tanks without any collab or any anti air and just uh, making some, some nice like. <laughs> I see. And Kite's coming across here with a, a lot of tanks and Goliaths here looking to try and deny your bases, but you do have quite a strong defensive position here with these four tanks, and you do have some battle cruisers as well. One, two, three, four, five, six battle cruisers here. And of course. Oh man, and I just have realized that now that Quake has only plus one weapon upgrade. Oh yeah, he does too. This is really. That's a big deal. For this TV is really team. big, big uh, mistake, I think. Yeah. No, yeah, he's researching it, but it's very, very late. Yeah. Too late. That's why he's losing so much units. Fights. It'll be the third one uh, weapon plus upgrade. It's not so important. The most important is plus two weapons. Okay. Because then your tanks uh, in, on siege mode can take your and opponents. Yamato cannon coming over here, taking down the command center. Yeah, and it's yeah, burning. Yeah. And the command center oh. goes down. And the Goliath, though, he's running away from the Goliath because these Goliaths already taken down one battle cruiser. Goliath imbalance, I think. That was Yamato's all in. <laughs> Yeah. But I have taken uh, up my uh, next expansion on this top with experts. So. Yeah, so that's what I thought he that's might do. And he does have a lot of tanks and goliaths here on the map though, and your army is spread around a lot, so he's in one position yeah, he does we have. have a big accumulation of and he's units. coming in here, Kryat coming forward. And the Goliaths well, coming forward here, there are a lot of Goliaths, but there are battle cruisers here though. And the battle cruisers of course are very strong. Oh, I have and he his units, and now he's all oh, right. He's going I agree. But all his tanks are dead, and he just, just set for one guys. left. And he just has some Goliaths here. He's still pushing forward though. He should pull back, and he does pull back. Oh, oh, oh. And that was a very sad engagement for Cryok here. And now uh, Radley is pushing across here with all his tanks and battle cruisers as well, with the tanks in the lead to defend from these uh, Goliaths. You know what? You know what? What? Again, I think mistake from Craig because he didn't wait for his plus two. Yeah. Oh man! Oh shit! What? And uh, a lot of battle cruisers okay, now, dying here for I the Goliath. Cancel it, but now, now it comes up. Okay. Never mind. And yeah, he didn't wait for this plus two. He could wait one minute more. Yeah, and I mean his plus one uh, armor as well was, I think, only recently completed. Oops. So now we have, uh, he's going to be taking his mineral only here with his, this command center. But also, also he cannot place it on the right position because it's in, in the range of tanks. Ah, I see, that's why he moved it. Yeah. And yeah, his so tanks, as SUVs as well, if he, yeah, definitely he'll be in a difficult position. And it looks like uh, Radley's moving his tanks across here so he can go and shoot this command center. Nice little positioning there. Very nice. And he does lift off his command center as he's not going to be able to do that. And of course, Radley is at 200 200. And he's uh, versus, so he's 70 up supply ahead of uh, Cryox, so it's a yeah, sad a position big, for him. Uh, very big resources I count. 4k and 2k. Yep. And of course, with that large battle cruiser. Though. Yeah, and he's building three more starports, so he's going to transition into Valkyrie, the Valkyrie. <laughs> Valkyrie against Battlecruiser at the DC. Okay, <laughs> now, that, now Cry no. pushing forward onto the stop position. Oh, and the leader Battlecruiser is dead. No. That end looks yeah. like uh, Radley is pulling his SUVs though. SUV is very strong. And right. they might be out of Against Goliath, man, not against Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and all the SUVs going down here, so it looks like Radley has lost his base here. 
but he did manage to so. deny the bottom left. Expo for expo. Yeah, but bottom left base is gone. And now Radley can just A move with his battle cruisers and win the game, I think. There are three starports here, but they are not producing anything, so... Yeah, Radley is overpowered. And now he's going to try and push to the top right base, but with a single bridge, or two bridges coming in here, it's very hard to take this base. And I don't know if That's it's a correct decision. That's what I said at the start of this game, that this map is uh, pretty, pretty cool for Terran to defend. Yeah, definitely. And there's the battle cruisers A moving. And still no raids or Valkyries or anything, so I think that at this stage oh. Radley should just A move and win. There's nothing that can defend from these battle cruisers. I think he can attack now Craig's main. There is there's nothing to defend in this main, so he will have to take some time to, uh, to return with his barats. Which are on the middle of And these Goliaths are coming back to try and defend here, but there's just so many battle cruisers, I don't think that's going to work. And Yamato cannon going off, taking down a lot of different units here. And he is coming back with all those tanks and Goliaths. Of course, the Goliaths are much better at defending. Some micro mistake from Bradley. We've been shot for, for a while. Oh, and you a have lot to pay attention because he's going to loot this battle cruiser. Oh, barely, barely. One battle because he has only 16 health. Yes, because Radley is very bad with battle cruisers, yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> no, really bad. <laughs> but seriously, though, those battle cruisers taking down two expansions. So now he's uh, Radley's in a very strong position here, as well as he has a, a double supply lead as well, which in any yeah. matchup is a big deal, but particularly in a TVT, it's just. Fred is still collecting from his miner only uh, to the command center in really the bad, bad place. This place. <laughs> yeah, you I should probably know. move that. Right. And of course, even uh, if you mine out now, you'd still be okay because you have uh, 6,000 minerals, 3,000 gas, so... I'm just waiting for my fancy move, which I, I want you to show. Okay. Uh, it won't be it now. Just a few minutes more few minutes oh maybe we should forward faster i will tell you <laughs> okay I will, I, will, I will show you some new tactic in tvt man okay in radley the new tactic maker eh? this is new t new harass tactic okay and the command center does go down from these battle cruisers here yeah. Which is so important because he only has 800 minerals, he can't afford to be wasting those kind of things. There was only mm, depleted Kaiser, but still. It's and Radley suiciding a lot of his tanks here, he doesn't Ooh. need them anymore. He decided he would give Krakus some advantage. Didn't scan this, didn't scan this. extra command center on the top position because he managed to save this. So can use this to make some mm, nuke it's silo. Oh, okay, okay. And I think he's going to do this because he's he's building second science facility. Yes. For for sure for sure it's for making cyber cops add on. Uh yeah the Okay, bye. There we go. The cover ops is on its way. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Now we will see a rally new TVT technique, huh? No, I, I didn't, I didn't thought about uh, nukes. There, there is something different. To something show. different. Okay. Uh, uh, but do know, don't know when. Yeah, okay, now it's starting. Just check, uh, check, check stuff. Ah, a cloak be. and science vessels and a wraith. Yeah. Two wraiths. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You think 
Az Öfi, Dürfi Rabasszai. Uh, would it be uh, the, the so shield? check the science facility. Check the science facility. A radiate. Oh man, yeah. Devastated. Okay, I want to see this. Yeah. This is very interesting now. I'm intrigued. But I then after this I realized why I did research club because oh I want to play. I will tell about this later. I want to see, I want to see. Is this a... Uh, you make this idea now or you already plan it? No, it was... Uh, that time. I just thought it would be fancy. So I just made this. Okay, we'll see then. Radley with his new style. TVT yeah. harassment. This is new, yeah. I like crazy tactics. Yeah, special tactics. This is, my, this is my label, man. Definitely. Always makes the games interesting to watch, eh? Alright, here, here you go. Here, here we go. go, we've got the raids and the uh, uh, hands vessels. Oh, it's going to be nasty. There are Let's no anti-air units up there. Here it comes, oh, and the radio is it. on, and he's going oh, forward man, with the raid. There are big explosions on SCVs and, and the SCVs. Oh, oh, it's working, man. It's oh, the working. SCVs going down. Oh, oh SCVs goes down. And oh, the raiders man. are so fast. Oh, right the SCVs so can't run away. And yeah, he's going again for the second, second base. Oh, man. oh, all the glass coming oh, back is too far away. And nasty. more SUVs. Oh. oh. Yeah, Radley's very good, man. But he's got a lot of raids coming over there. He also has his own race force. There are only four SUVs. Five. Survived <laughs> from this Radley. Nightmare. Overpowered, man. Oh, now he's, he has taken down the science visuals. Which is very sad. Hey, but you can do it again, man. More harassment. Okay, we still have uh, nuke tech. Nuke but tech. Where, where, where? Ah, there it is. No, yes. Alec has no has no population limit for this. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, you can kill some battle cruisers. No problem. Oh, yeah, there he goes. We have kills. Drone which are going to make some damage to my battle cruisers. Yeah. yeah. And one, two one battle cruisers. Now there are two tanks which are but going to die too. Uh, but again, make upgrades for his rights. So, uh, you know, uh, not non upgraded rights are not so effective against 333. Not yeah, in definitely not. And you do have enough for a nuclear missile, but you're not producing one yet. And Yamato yeah. Cannon taking down a lot of tanks here. But the Goliaths are pushing forward here as well, and they are very strong. Yeah, I really have to pay attention. Yeah, definitely. Not he's not losing too many. Because of course he has many, mm, not many, much resources for rebuilding his army, but still. It will be nice to not losing this Batakuja for free. Yeah. And it looks like you are able to take down one of his last expansions. But he is yeah. harassing your bottom left again, he keeps doing that. Craig is denying expansion on the bottom left Yeah, corner. bottom left, yep. Yeah. Uh, he should, yeah. Should send the SCV and start his own expansion immediately. But, yeah, I think he's on lost position in this game. Yeah, definitely. Because he's playing against Radley, TVT Master. One, yeah, man. It's 100, 100 population lead. And the battle cruisers are coming across the map here. Scan going down so he knows what's coming. The Yamato cannon, one tank going down. Very nice snipe there. But I want to see nukes, man. Where's the nuclear missile? And now. Uh, Cryok is only on one base, which is nearly mined out, and he's building a second base, so... 
but he has no resources left and hardly any SCVs. He even lifting one of his command centers so that he could <laughs> mine more effectively. Oh, you feel the TBT. <laughs> yeah, the TBT. No, it's interesting, very interesting. I'm just tired. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that. <laughs> no, no, I like, I don't mind TBT. High level TBT is interesting because there's usually something yeah. happening. I, I love chess too. <laughs> <laughs> But I think yeah, it's interesting. I think that this particular game is looks like like chess play. Yeah, yeah a little bit. But you have got um, three queens, and he has got no queens. Yeah. <laughs> like, but uh, on this game we can see how TBT is really scouting based because we have running from one side to second side. Yeah. Whole game. Like, both players are looking the holes in uh, second one player defense. Uh, yeah. yeah. I always find TBT is most interesting when you have. Uh, oh, he takes down one of your battle cruisers. Very nice snipe from him there. But TBT is very interesting when you have a lot of wraith and dropship play, like we see in um, Flash versus Fantasy. Yeah, that's very, true, that's true. very exciting to watch when it's like that. Battle cruisers too slow, man. Too slow. About this Korean style of play, so we cannot we cannot be Koreans, man. We are white guys. So. Yeah, I also, suppose. Only Koreans can do s as fancy stuff as, as it's really like. No fancy stuff. You did the wraith, the radio, man. That's foreigner style. Well, no, no, I didn't mean crazy stuff, but but <laughs> cross skill level play. Oh yeah, no problem, man. Easy. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy. Yeah, Especially easy. With 200 APM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we are we are having some. Oh, yeah. Reduction. There's a ghost here. And the second one is ready. Oh, he's cloaked. Uh, okay, we have in. some ghosts over there. Oh, scan! And he uh, scans ooh. and kills it. Oh, very sharp eyes. Eagle from him eye of Fryer. Yeah, Eagle he's hacking, man. Fryer. Definitely hacking. Oh, man. But, but still, we have second ghost. Maybe he. Managed to oh, <laughs> oh no, no, mine. Oh, so sad. Okay, never mind, we have to battle, battle cruisers. cruisers. Yeah, just A moving. Once you know, but are going for the win. <laughs> yeah, Radley not happy now, so he goes and kills everything. And oh, GG man. from Cryok at last. True Goliath gets free, free Yamato from his chest. Yeah. So. GG. Radley taking game one in uh, Radley versus Cryok because Radley is overpowered. I can and say only that the, that game was uh, last uh, less than the second one. So. <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, last less than the second one game. Okay. And even even much. Less. I'm very scared now, man. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> okay. Should, uh, um, just give me a second. I have to transition into a multiplayer. Because okay. I'm, uh, I'm fed up with this single player mode. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm in. On the second map. Damn shit, man. <laughs> There's a tech. Can I pause be... for, for a while? Sorry, man. But yeah, sure. Oh, fuck. What did happen? <laughs> My... Darker scoop. Okay, I'll wait for you to come I back then. So strange noises. I have no idea why. Okay, well, uh, if you want to restart, you can restart. Oh uh, yeah, the noises stopped. Still, I have to. 
silly face. Silly. Okay, we're just waiting for Radley to get his stuff sorted out. So that should be okay. okay. I hope it will work. No. Oh shit, man, it doesn't. Oh, man, again? What's going on? Is okay. your replay bugged or? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, we'll see. I try to make this from ICP. So we Maybe did have. Too long. <laughs> oh, so we did have an epic TVT vs from Radley vs Cryak, but before that we had True Touch vs Bakaru, with True Touch taking that series 2 0. And after Radley and Cryak, we do have a ZVZ between Technics and Ace, both of who are quite strong players in our ZVZ, so that will be very interesting. And then the last game we were going to have was Siki vs Nsakwe, but. Desakwe has quit Brood War apparently, and so he didn't play those games. So Sasaki will go on straight ahead through to the round of four. Now, of course, okay, Desakwe thinks he has quit Brood War, but you can never truly quit Brood War. He will be back, of course. Okay, are you back in or? Okay, uh, I have replay. So, what is the time on your? Replay? I'm 11 seconds. Start. Start it? Oh no, sorry. Okay, now I'm on 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, okay synchronized. Okay, so, here we go. Half. Now this map is uh, Desert Tech, which you've probably all seen it before, but we have these uh, the these little doodads here, which uh, give a 50% mischance at like sort of like a high ground advantage to any units which are on them. And yeah, it's a four player map. And cross positions. So, of course, the white uh, Tehran is Cryok from Team IFU. And Radley is from. Is it KDV? Yeah, it's Venom Gaming Clan. Ah, okay. Damn, I have above 500 APM. Okay, now it's based on. <laughs> yeah. Cryok 300 APM. And. and Radley with uh, okay, so um, what I can say, um, I think that the Zertek uh, won't be won't be in Icy Cut map. Back. I think <laughs> yeah. that map won't get nice opinion. Okay, uh, I like it it's, because it's, cool it's style interesting. Okay. It's yeah. something new with yeah. this uh, defense. Or how to spell this. Yeah, it is an interesting this. concept, but I think that um, in terms of balance, uh, a lot of people don't. It like doesn't it. work. It doesn't work because, especially in TVT, and you will saw this on this game. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work. The TVT is whole different on this map because of these places. Yeah. yeah. This is sick. This is sick because siege tanks or siege mode on these uh, fields are unkillable. Are yeah, I'll fucking on the yeah. yeah. So you will see action. Maybe maybe I will try to to catch this on this game when I have made five drop ship or something like full of units. And I just loaded it on f maybe four or five siege tanks, siege it on tanks on these fields, and I just get screwed. Okay. And I just made I just made stupid uh, stupid face look like. Uh, yeah. I cannot play this. Okay. I cannot. <laughs> we will see, eh? So, Radley, Master TVT player, says that this map is no good. Be very interesting to see. Uh, I just maybe. Oh man, maybe maybe someone better will play on this. Maybe it will look uh, different. But what I can say that uh, 
activity is not looking here like in other games on, on other maps that's that's what i can say about this um in other matchups okay this is cool this is really cool especially i love this map uh, in turn versus protocol matchup because mine are so fucking good on this <laughs> there are of course on uh, of course imbalance on every map but here there are mega imbalance <laughs> okay so and i, I also think for pvz uh, I, like I don't like pvz on this map as well personally uh, yeah pvz I don't it's also different yeah because uh, protos uh, have no option just uh, and they're just playing Z mazillas with stones it's been also effective on this map Yeah, and also it's and there is fine, there is fine. There is there cannot only play Mafia Hydra, but you can just play standard with the Link Walker as one. Yeah. It's a good looking. But on the other hand, in late game, I think Zerg is behind. Yeah. Really bad lag. Never mind. Lag? Yeah, I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? Huh. I'm sorry everyone who has lag, I'm not sure why it is. I'll see if I can... You want to pause to check the result? Uh, no, it's fine. Um, I'm not lagging on the replay, it's just the stream is lagging. Oh, right, yeah, but uh, OBS says it's got a nice okay, upload, so I don't know. Action. And you can see that three, four marines were really effective against five vultures. <laughs> yeah, very effective. <laughs> because, because they, they were in favor of these fields. <laughs> and the vultures okay. are trying to get a surrounding coming through here, but there is another tank there. We'll be able to deny the SCDs yeah, no, there. Yeah, no, it's not time. was really worried about <coughs> these vultures. <coughs> seven SCDs can be in this. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh man, you okay? You yeah, okay? I'm okay. Don't need to call 911. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. Alright. Okay, uh, everyone's saying that the um, the stream is lagging and it's disappeared. Oh dear. Disappeared? Yeah, someone said it disappeared. I don't know if that's. I'm looking now to see. Yeah, it's lagging, no, but no. it's still here, but it's just lagging a lot. It's lagging. That's true. Okay, there's uh, I can 